is don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle. Not all of us can break generational curses. Hey family members. Hey. So remember the beginning of the year? I know we're still in the beginning of the year, but remember the beginning of the year when I said that this year is my year of being the villain? Why did you guys let me say that? Because it's giving ultimate villain energy. Like after I'm done with today's episode of Keeping Up With Jail, you guys are gonna like completely villainize me. And for some odd reason, I'm okay with it because I feel like I've already entered into my villain era. I already got the heels for it, so do what you will with that information. So for my first unpopular opinion, number one is that we all cannot be on this healing journey. Okay, like I said, if you're gonna hate me, hate me with your chest. We all cannot be on a healing journey. We all cannot be going through the cosmos and healing from everything and everything is healing. And they're like, no, no. Because if we were all healing, I feel like a lot of good things would be going on. And as of now, a lot of bad things are happening. So who, somebody needs to explain that. Somebody needs to explain that to me. We're not healing. We just keep saying that we're healing. We keep making a mess of everything. So explain that. So number two is that we need to stop romanticizing therapy. I don't know who told you guys that therapy is like all fun and games and shits and giggles, but it's not like real shit be going on. Like people be actually working through things. But when I get on the internet or I get on Twitter, everybody's like, oh, you need to go to therapy. You don't know how to do that. You need to go to therapy. No, the, somebody probably just needs somebody to talk to. Like for shits and giggles and when it's like mainstream everybody wants to like run it down to the ground i feel like therapy should be taken more seriously because it is very serious and these people go to school for freaking six to seven years some eight years to be able to understand psychotherapy and to be able to understand how the human mind works to help somebody that could potentially have a mental health issues people that are going through post-traumatic stress disorder people that are going through actual problems and that's not to downplay anybody's issue or to downplay what's going on with you but i just feel like it should be taken serious because these people have bills these people have debt to pay off so don't be just referring somebody to go and see a therapist if it's something that they could easily talk over with a friend and also i understand if you don't have a friend to talk things over with i i can completely relate to that but just like i said it's not for shits and giggles it's not even the way we make it mainstream like that it should be taken serious my point so number three is don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle. And by the way, um, I have a question. And don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle. Not all of us can break generational curses. I said not all of us can break generational curses. And the people that know who I'm talking to know who I'm talking to. I literally told you chitterling eating bitches. The girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't obviously you don't get it because you're not that girl got it y'all love to get on twitter and be like oh yeah i didn't whoop my son today i'm breaking generational curses yeah it's And before y'all get to the tussling, let me just explain my point. I see a lot of people saying they want to break generational curses, but they don't put in the actual work. Generational curses are not surface level as we think, or some people will be like, oh, I'm not going to smoke and drink, so I'm just gonna stay away from people that smoke and drink. That's great, awesome. But that's not how you don't smoke and drink because what's gonna happen if you see a cigarette or if you see a liquor bottle 
you know so people so basically what i'm trying to say is people don't do the inner work but they basically want to tell you that this is what they're working towards and this is this and most of these um generational curses are spiritual because think about it it's been in your generation for years and years and years and y'all don't want to pray which is going to bring me to my next point my next point is can we stop like worshiping rocks i i said you guys are gonna make me the villain i said i've accepted my rise the villain is it me am i the drama i don't think i'm the drama maybe i am am i the villain i don't think i'm the villain but can we stop worshiping rocks can we stop blaming everything on um astrology and can we stop blaming everything on um what's the stupid thing zodiac signs it could be that you're just a bad person that's not because you are a gemini or a leo or aries you're just a horrible person mm. so i don't even know which number i'm on if i'm on number four five six i don't know so we're just gonna keep going because <sighs> this thing is really chaotic <laughs> So my next point is we need to stop comparing ourselves to toxic movie characters or TV show characters. And let me tell you why I got this point. Because I was recently watching Euphoria. I'm going to do a whole video on Euphoria because what the actual hell? What the actual hell? Anyway, so I was watching Euphoria and I just so happened to get on Twitter and everybody's like, oh my God, Cassie reminds me of myself. Cassie. <laughs> okay, go off, sis. Since you want the whole world to know that that's who you are for some reason, I guess. So that leads me to my next point, which is that euphoria is very toxic. If you want to fight me, fight me. And I'm not even saying it from a, oh, I don't even like that show. It's so just very disgusting. It is disgusting. It is so very like that. And I do watch it and I do like it. But it's very toxic. The dynamics in the show is getting very much. When I talk to y'all, because y'all always trying to find something. Y'all always trying to find something. Something. Very much something. Y'all always trying to find something to talk about. They all need therapy. Because, like, almost all the girls have daddy issues from that they turn into slots i'm not slot shaming they turn into whores and they just have no boundaries it i don't i don't know who the intended audience is i hope it's not teenagers but from what i see a lot of teenagers watch it so like i was saying it's just not very wise because as a teenager you're very dumb I know when I was a teenager, I was very, very, very dumb, and I did a lot of dumb things. So watching dumb things with being a dumb teenager is just, it's getting very much collabo. It's getting very much, you're showing me things to do. You're giving me bad ideas. And I feel like, I feel like young Jaya would have loved that. But yeah, just looking out, looking out for my girlies. Look at me being very maternal. Mmm. Okay, so I thought I was done. Then I remember this point. So this will be my last point. My last point is we need to leave young adults, leave young adults and teenagers alone. Too many of y'all are grown on the internet. Y'all stay bullying people. Like people is just, it just so happens that we have the internet now to document the stupid things that we're doing in our lives. But I can guarantee if we go back to back in your day when you were doing dumb things, and there wasn't internet to document it, the people around would say that you're very stupid. Okay, so we need to leave people alone. We need to give them grace. Because I bet you at 21, you were stupid. I bet you at 22, you were still dumb. So let people grow into who they are. Don't be so judgmental of what they're doing or who you think they are. Like, let people be. Anyway, those are my points. And I think I'm done today. I'm done. I'm just done for the day. Even if you guys don't ask for a part two, I'm coming back with a part two. So if you don't want to watch, don't watch. That's your business. But what needs to be said will be said. Thank you. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you've made it this far, I'm going to need you to do me the honor of joining our family. Subscribe, 
below turn on the notification bell to notify you whenever i post a video so um that's that thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye